In the last lesson we spoke about, we were introduced to rate and we did questions, um, you know, where, where we explained exactly how rate works. But now there's these questions that come up very often with rate and they have to do with um, speed, distance and time. And so what I wanted to do is just dedicate an entire lesson on speed, distance, time. I'm going to give you formulas for speed, distance, time, and then it will make it a lot easier. So then we can go practice questions like that, like that, like that, and we got a couple more. So let's begin. So you pretty much to remember all of the formulas, I just want you to draw a triangle for yourself. Okay, now at the top of the triangle, you put the D for distance, and then at the bottom, you've got speed and time. It doesn't matter if you switch these two around, but most teachers will probably do it like that. Okay, now the way it works is the following. If you want to find speed, okay, and by the way, the S stands for speed, T stands for time, and D stands for distance. Okay, so if you want to find speed, it's over here. Now have a look you're going to say equals, and then you see that the distance is at the top, and then the time is over there. So you're going to say distance at the top, and then time over there. So it's distance divided by time. Okay. Now, if you would like to find, let's say you want to find um, time. So we're looking for this one now. So you could say t equals. Now see that the distance is at the top, and the speed is over there. So you could just say d over S. And then lastly, if you want to find distance, now this one's a bit different because distance is at the top. So if we have, if we highlight it there, so now you could say that distance, but now these two are both at the bottom. So what you do is you just multiply those two together. Okay. And those are the three formulas that you need to know. And I would advise you to make this triangle for yourself, spend about five minutes, see if you can remember how to use the triangle and then you've got it. Then these questions are gonna become your baby. They're gonna become really easy. Okay, so let's carry on. So we now know that we've got this triangle that always has the distance at the top, okay? Now, a car drives 100 kilometers. That's the distance in two hours. That's the time, determine the speed. So using our triangle, we know that speed is over here. And so that means that it's gonna be the distance divided by time. And so that's gonna be 100 for the distance, and the time is two, and so that's gonna give us 50. Now don't just say 50. The units of speed is, if you go look in your parent's car, or any car, um, if you go look on the dashboard where you see the speed, you'll see that speed is measured in kilometers per hour. So like that. Your teacher might write kilometers per hour like this, but usually it'll be like that. Okay, so when you give your answer, don't just say 50. 50 what? I know some teachers, they get super annoying. They're like, 50 what? Or even like dads, they're like, 50 what? 50 apples, 50 bananas, <laughs> 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, here's another one. A vehicle is driving at 120 kilometers per hour. Ah, that's a speed. Don't say that that's a distance. I know that that's part's a distance, but it's kilometers per hour, so that is speed. How long, so they're wanting to know how long, will it take to drive from Durban to Cape Town, which is a distance of 1,650? So we're looking for the time, and we know, we already know what the distance and the speed will be. So we're looking for this one. So we can say that the time is equal, and then we've got this at the top, and this at the bottom, so D over S. And that'll be uh, distance, 1650, and the speed, 120, and then you can go and calculate that quickly, type it all in on your calculator, and that'll be 13.75. 13.75 what? Now don't just be like, minutes, or seconds. Think about it. What did they give us here? Kilometers and hour. So we definitely have this in hours. Okay, next question. A car drives at 60 kilometers per hour, so that is a speed, for how long? That's a time. How far does it drive? That's a distance. So they wanna know what is the distance. So we've got the triangle. Once you have the triangle, it's easy. So if they're looking for this one, then these two are at the bottom. So this is the one where you multiply them. Okay, so you multiply them. That'll be 60 multiplied by 4.5, and that'll give us 270 
what, meters? Centimeters? Millimeters? No. Look here. Kilometers. Okay. Next question. Nandi drives 250 kilometers. That's a distance. In how long? That's a time. Whereas, oh, he's changing the question up a little bit. Kevin's getting spicy with his questions. Whereas Andrew drives 350 kilometers. That's his distance. And, um, well, I shouldn't assume that Andrew's a boy's name. We're living in very strange times these days, so we never know. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Of course, it's a guy's name. Andrew drives 350 um now it's Andrea. <laughs> okay, I need to carry on. Andrew drives 350 kilometers in six hours. I'm going to get cancelled. In six hours. Who is driving faster? Okay, so we've got um, we've got distance, speed, and time. Okay, so I'm still laughing at my own joke. How bad is that? Okay, so what we'll do is for Nandi, we will go and calculate... Um, Who's driving faster? So they want us to calculate the speed. So for Nandi, let's go calculate the speed. So speed is equal to um, the distance and then time. So distance is 250. The time is four hours for Nandi. And if we work that out, we get 62.5. 62.5 what? Marshmallows? Nope. Kilometers per hour. Because that is what speed is and we've got kilometers and hours. So we say kilometers per hour. Don't say kilometers hour like that. It's kilometers per hour. All right. Now for Andrew, we are going to say um, speed is equal to, we know that that's distance over time once again. And so if we go for in the distance, 350, and then the time is 6, and then if we divide that together, we get 58.33. 58.33 kilometers per hour. So who's the faster driver? Nandi, because Nandi drives at 62.5 kilometers per hour. So if you think about the person, if you're driving in a car and you look on the dashboard, this person, it says 62.5, this person is 58.33. So this person is driving faster. So who's the faster driver? Nandi is driving faster. Don't forget to answer their question. We have two more questions. Amy drives 100 kilometers, that's a distance. Ooh, this is a good one. In two hours, that's a time. How long will it take her to drive 520? Okay, so ignore this part for now. Then we're gonna quickly whip out the triangle. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, now from these, this information over here, what could we calculate? Well, well done, her speed. So speed um, is then equal to distance over time from just using the triangle, right? And so distance is 100, time is two, and so that's gonna give us 50 what? Kilometers per hour. Now we know how fast Amy is driving. So we will assume that her speed is gonna remain the same. So now for this part over here, we know that she's still driving at the same speed, 50 kilometers per hour. Think about Amy just chilling on the N2 or the N1. Um, she's just chilling there at 50 kilometers per hour, and she's just going to keep going at 50 kilometers per hour the whole way, okay? So now we know the speed for this next part, right? Does that make sense, guys? What we did is we used this information over here, and we were able to see how fast is Amy driving. Then we will assume that her speed of her car is going to remain the same for the next part. We will assume that she's not going to speed up or slow down. She's just going to keep driving like she's driving. She'd be chilling like she's chilling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she's just going to be doing the same thing, okay? She's not going to be going faster or slower. Right. So we now have the speed. So we've got the S and we've got the distance. So what can we calculate when you've got S and D? You can calculate time. So now we can go say time, now we're using this one, is equal to the distance which is at the top and the speed is at the bottom. And so the distance is now going to be 520 because now we're looking at this part over here. And the speed we know from the previous part is 50. And so if you calculate that you'll end up with 10.4 now, remember, this is time, and we've seen hours over here, so this is going to be measured in hours. Morgan drives 100 kilometers. Ooh, now we're getting into the minutes. That's okay. 100 kilometers, so that's a distance, and that's a time. How far will it... Whoa, geez, Kev, can't we at least give Morgan, Morgan a, like, some type of 
something. Let's say um, Morgan is actually a unisex name, though. I've met m female and male um, Morgans. So let's assume for this question that Morgan is a lady. So how far will she drive? Jeez, like you can't just say it. How far will she drive in 140 minutes? All right, so let's go to distance, speed, and time. So from, you see guys, what we can do is from this part, from this part here, we can calculate what? Well, from that we can calculate speed because speed is equal to distance over time. So speed is equal to distance over time, which is equal to 100 over 80. And if you calculate that, you end up with 1.25. But now be careful. The distance they used kilometers, but for the time they used minutes. So we'll say kilometers per minute. We won't just always say kilometers per hour. Some teachers will tell you, oh, you gotta convert it into hours. But I disagree, you don't really need to for this question because they've kept it minutes. You see how it's minutes in both? If one of them was in hours and one of them was in minutes, then of course you would need to convert them to be the same units. That I do agree with. Okay, so now, 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 now we're going into this next part, but we know the speed. We assume, just like we did in this previous question over here, was it this one? Yes. We assume that the speed that the car was driving remains the same for the next part of the question. That's something that we will do because it's very unlikely in these questions that the person's just gonna be like, you know what, I'm so sick of driving my car like this speed, I'm just gonna go even faster. No, they're just gonna keep driving as they're driving, okay? That's what we'll assume for these things. Or they're not gonna be like, ah, we're going too fast, slow down. No, we're just gonna keep driving at the same speed. So we have the speed for the next one, okay? We have the speed, yes we do. So, and we also have the time. We also have the time for the next one. So we could then say, and they wanna know how far, so we could calculate the distance. We know that from the triangle, the good old triangle, distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So speed multiplied by time. And so distance is equal to the speed, which is 1.25. And it's very important that if we're using minutes over here, then we must use minutes over here. You don't wanna be using hours with minutes. My bra, we just don't do that. You gotta be using the same kind of units with the same kind of units. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna say here 140, 140, okay? And because this one's measuring using a bit of minutes, then this one's also busy, busy using some minutes, it's all good. And so we go ahead, we multiply, and we end up with 175. 175 of what? Strawberries? Nope. Kilometers. Kilometers. And that's it.